Hope you all are having a wonderful day. So in today's video, I'll show you guys how to create a restore point on Windows 10 and Windows 11. This process will work for both of you different users. So all you need to do is to come over here, the search bar, click on it and type create restore point. Click on it to so just go um, on this one here. When you click on that, it's going to open up for you. All right, so this window will open up for you. And as you can see right now, the protection is turned off. I have just uh, one disk in my computer right now. So I'll just click on, on, on this one. And as you can see, I can go ahead and configure this. I don't have, I haven't created a restore point before. Just go ahead, click on configure, click on turn on system protection and leave it on a default of four gigabytes, 2%. This is a default for me. I won't uh, try to increase it or decrease it. I'll just go ahead and click on apply and okay. So right now we can create a restore point. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on create. And I'm just gonna give this to uh, today's date. I'm, I'm just gonna give this today's date. So it's easy for me to remember. Okay, so the purpose of this restore point is so you can actually go back to a previous uh, setting on your system. Let's say there are some things that just uh, came up on your system and it's mal malfunctioning. You can actually just restore it back to this date, which we have created the restore point for. I, I, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So go ahead and just click on create. All right. So within a few seconds, it's going to show us the restore point was created successfully. And this is everything you need to know. So just go ahead and close it. And this is how to use it in case you are trying to make use of the restore point. From here, you can see system restore. You just click on it. Once you click on that, it's actually going to tell you that, okay, yeah, it's possible, but you have to read all this and then click on next. When you click on next, you are actually going to see that, okay, this is the restore point you've saved and you can just go ahead and just, you know, click on next and just follow the process all through to the end. That's if you want to make use of the restore point. Okay, that's it. And if you also want to delete the restore point, you can actually delete it by uh, clicking on configure and click on disable system protection, apply uh, yes, and then okay. So from here right now, click on configure. Okay, now you can delete all the restore uh, points from this device. Just click on delete, continue, and then restore point was deleted successfully. Then just close it and click on okay, and we're good to go. If this video really helps you guys, you can actually drop a comment in the comment section telling me the reason why you want to use the restore point. Drop a like on the on this video and see you guys on the next one.